Welcome to Channel AMAC, your insight to the Australian visa system. Good day everyone, my name is Carl Young, your online YouTube visa consultant. Now in this video I would like to discuss uh, with the two topics, uh, two courses actually, uh, the courses that uh, has been commonly asked uh, and perhaps it could actually lead to a permanent residence in the future in Australia. So these two courses are one in the uh, agricultural uh, courses and the other one is nursery horticulture. Now the the main differences here are actually both are uh, agricultural related. Now horticulture is more of uh, visual effect uh, plants and seeding of a lot of different plants and the uh, botanical um, growth of plants. Now obviously agriculture explains it all. Ag agriculture relates to more of the plants but related to food uh, that the, the vegetables, fruits that we grow so we can consume and eat in the future. Now the two differences, the major differences here is that obviously uh, horticulture only requires a diploma uh, which is uh, less time consumed to be studied uh, but the agricultural uh, studies has to go into a bachelor courses. Obviously I'll take you into uh, have a look of these courses available uh, with samples from a university, another one from a college. So first of all let's jump into the uh, skill occupation list so because the occupation list will actually tells a lot of information here so if you do not know this web page all, all you need to do is type in home affairs space skilled occupation list and you should land yourself in this web page this, it's a very useful web page developed by Australian Department of Home Affairs all you need to do is scroll down and you can see the search functions here and you can punch in whatever the occupation that you want to search with and it will show up with the options what uh, what these are options that you can do so what I have done is uh, I basically type in agriculture first okay so then you you will see they are agricultural consultant agricultural engineer agricultural scientist and agricultural technicians now the differences between these four are um, the main thing that we need to look out for is first of all check out what sort of skill occupation list that they are in if they are in the MLTSSL bingo because that means this occupation can be used for any type of skill uh, visas so that going across 189190491488 which is abolished already and obviously uh, the uh, employer sponsor 482 as well so you can see it lists 186 blah 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 so that means every single visa skill related you can be used so so as agriculture engineer okay that's all down there and agriculture scientist is all down there it's in, in in the MLTSSL the only thing differences here is the agricultural technician which is only at ROL. Now ROL means that's in regional. So uh, if you're in the suburban area such as uh, Brisbane, Sydney, and Melbourne, you cannot use this list. So it's more restricted. You can see it's uh, less visa options here. Now, secondly, we need to see is what sort of skill assessing authority they're in. So if they are in vet assess, uh, if you uh, you want to know more detail about skill assessment, I have done a specific video about vet assess. You can click on that. And you can uh, you can see what it is. Now, basically, vet assess the requirement to pass the skill assessment is that once you graduated, then you have done a full uh, one year. Uh, what experiences then you you will meet that vet assess requirements so that one year uh, can be uh, it doesn't have to be full time it can be a uh, 20 hours per week so it's very handy it's not too hard once you get this uh, graduated you can get on that get, get on to it so uh, now courses let's have a look let's do some comparison the reason for this video is that I wanted to compare the two so uh, make it more transparent for the viewer or the if you are interested in coming to Australia to study uh, you can compare these two as well now bear in mind you can do horticulture first 
and then you move on to your agriculture bachelor as well so it's it's actually combined but whether or not you want to pick one out of two it's up to you I'll, I'll, I'll give you some options here so let's look at this I picked the uh, example from the University of Queensland where they provide bachelor agriculture science that actually can get you to become an agriculture consultant or agriculture scientist so if we take the international where that's that's predominantly obviously domestic if you're in a if you're already got Australian uh, residencies that you can you can put uh, Australia here now the the, do you see the differences here uh, if you're an Australian resident you can do part-time study if you're international obviously no because you'll be bound by the student visas now <clears throat> it's a four year four year uh, uh, cycle to be actually studied to become an agricultural scientist so it's it's a long-term study in compared to a diploma horticulture which is going to only going to be a two year obviously that's the differences now uh, you can do a um, diploma horticulture and then get into year two of the bachelor of agricultural science if you do want it now the differences between the two obviously uh, from the visa point of view the other side is obviously uh, agriculture science is, is, is more on um, knowledge and studies uh, horticulture is more on hands-on stuff so they, you actually go out uh, do more hands-on work uh, now agricultural si science you, you do some hands-on work but it's not the primary thing you actually do more of a statistical studies here so it's four years of study and the course list obviously I'm not gonna go into detail there and if you study in UQ uh, you know that you notice the location is in Gatton now Gatton is a regional area so if you study there with this courses basically meant that you will get a potential uh, three year or four a five graduate temporary uh, PSW visa which is very good now prerequisite obviously you need to have a year 12 English chemistry and mathematics B and obviously IELTS test for as well that's all you are uh, required now we if we scroll down here uh, here it shows what you can do become a agriculture science so agriculture scientists it will apply your knowledge of science and technological management and economic environmental and social principle and major changes blah 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 so that basically helps uh, you you you're enhancing the farming areas or the industry uh, to have a more of efficient and effective and more of a better growth of the plants or veggies that you're trying to do okay so obviously it involves a horticulturist as well but you're more above of that now talking about horticulture uh, the colleges that I will introduce to you is the iron wood let me magnify this page a bit bigger uh, that looks better okay so Ironwood Institute that's basic uh, it's located in Adelaide so you can see a big Adelaide in the middle uh, it's one of the uh, one of the best uh, horticulture school uh, focusing on horticulture solely uh, the only one I have uh, got in contact with uh, all the other horticulture courses uh, within TAFE they have but they they it's not exclusive to them they have all the other cookery and other courses so the courses actually expands uh, as you can see they got agribusiness courses horticulture courses business management so they, they go across a lot uh, and obviously uh, if you come in in com combination of uh, the uh, two years of study uh, they basically uh, be the horticulture courses of these uh, see certificates and into the diploma courses they, they are packages as well so that they will get you to become a nursery person now uh, if, if I do a search on nursery person uh, you actually see that uh, a nursery person uh, has to go through TRA now TRA the skill assessment is actually uh, harder uh, than vet assess uh, so uh, basically because it requires a full time of work now some people may get jobs during study and things but they may not be able to get full time of work so another trick uh, uh, way is that uh, if you're a nursery person you can actually um, be an agricultural technician as well so if we, uh, we have seen agricultural 
before. So agriculture technician, although they are all in ROL, but the skill assessing authority become fair assessed. That, that means your uh, working hour to be assessed will be half. Uh, and that is also good. Now, the other, the other good thing about nursery industry, uh, the horticultural industry, is that the uh, uh, since I've done one video about this before, but uh, not many people take attention about it. So it's actually a new horticultural industry labor agreement has been introduced on the 1st of January 2020. Now, unfortunately, due to the pandemic COVID-19, uh, a lot of these has been stopped. But what I'm trying to say is uh, horticulture has uh, become a major indus industry that has been identified by the Australian government. That means uh, if you study horticulture or becoming a nursery, either a nursery person or uh, uh, agricultural consultants, and you will, I, and you can identify a potential sponsor in horticultural industry. There, there, actually a lot. There's a, a lot, a lot of nurseries uh, around Australia where you buy flowers and plants and things like that. So if they want you to work in there. Uh, they can actually become a horticultural industry uh, sponsor uh, and they the um, it, you see here they got a lot of um, different uh, application you can be in you can come in as a 4a2 and then uh, they are 31 approved occupations so let's have a look down here they basically have a lot there's an irri irrigation designer uh, and going down to horticulture grower uh, mechanical engineer um, not too sure how mechanical will actually relate to this, but perhaps it's a very large nursery plant. Uh, and Q QA manager, biosecurity officer, facility plant manager, uh, fitter, welder, agriculture technician, you can see here, uh, and mechanics, uh, nursery person again, nursery supervisor, even truck driver. I'm not too sure how you can become a truck driver with skill assessments. Uh, and you can see uh, it's actually very interesting. But what I'm trying to say in this video is that the, uh, the, the compare of the agricultural bachelor studies and the horticulture uh, diploma studies, uh, they, they are both are interested. Uh, once you complete Diploma Horticulture, you can actually move on to a Bachelor of Agricultural Science as well. Uh, but the, the, the potential pick will be very interesting, interesting uh, pick. And uh, obviously the agricultural industry, uh, a lot of people have heard about uh, the industry 4.0. Uh, it's actually coming and they utilize AI, they utilize a lot of technology and even AgTech is currently located and listed on the GTI Global Talent uh, Independent as well. That means the, the Australian government is actually looking forward for more of these talents to be in Australia. Anyway, this is a video uh, introducing about the how the differences between the Bachelor of Agriculture and the Diploma of Horticulture. Should, be, should you be interested about it, more than welcome to leave a comment right down below. And finally, I would like to ask you to subscribe to our channel. So once we have more video and more insight, you should be the first one getting it. Thank you for watching. I'll see you next video. Goodbye.